All right, so if you're not comfortable working around electrical, don't attempt to do this job. Get somebody who is comfortable. So what we have here is a four-way switch setup. We have two three-way switches, and then we have a four-way sandwiched in between them. A pretty typical four-way switch scenario. We have a problem going on here. This one works, this one works, but then when you push this one down, nothing works, okay? Push this one back up, it's all working again. Now, nobody's messed with the wiring. Something like this might happen if you've changed a, one of the switches, but you didn't put it in right, but that's not what happened here. So probably one of the switches went bad. Let's go ahead and shut off the power. That's the first thing we wanna do. All right, so I've gone ahead and pulled out my switches and disconnected them all. I've labeled the wires that were on the three-way black screws with a piece of tape so those don't get mixed up. And I've separated my traveler wires that were on the four-way, the red and black traveler wires. One set goes on the black screws, one set goes on the brass screws. I'll show you more about that here in just a minute. What I wanna do here is isolate these switches so that I can test them properly. All right, so let's go ahead and take a meter Put one lead on the black screw and one lead on the brass screw. That should turn off, and it does. Now let's keep our meter on the black screw and test the other screw on the other side. That one's working properly. Let's test our four-way. What you wanna do is test a black screw with a brass screw. Okay, do the other side, same thing. Working right. Now what you wanna do is test it at an angle Opposite, working. And that one's working. And finally, our third three-way. Okay, keep our meter on the black screw. And we're on the other traveler. Uh-oh. There's your problem. So we got a bad switch in here. All right, so in the real world, I probably would have just pulled out this one switch right here because that's the one that was showing the problems, but I wanted to pull them all out and test them. That way you can see what good switches are supposed to test like. Then you can recognize what a bad switch looks like when you come across one. So most of the time, in either three or four way switch situations, you'll find a bad switch like we did here. Somebody will change the switch, but they didn't keep track of where the wires were and they'll put it back together and then it doesn't even work. It does the same thing it did before with a brand new switch. Well, I'm gonna show you from scratch how to hook it all up. That way you know what to do when you come across that. All right, so keep in mind that there are several other ways that you can wire four-way switches. This one is a popular one, but it's certainly not the only way. I've turned the power back on and I've covered the ends with these Wego style connectors. You can also use wire nuts for safety, just so we can turn the power back on. What we need to do is find our feed, which one of the switches is probably not the four-way, has got the feed in there. It's probably in one of your three-ways. I'm gonna use my voltage sensor right here. I'll check the other three-way first. Nope, nothing there. Of course, the four-way is gonna be dead. And let's check this one. Here it is. That's our feed, all right? That one is gonna go to our black screw on the first three-way switch. All right, so here's a pro tip so you don't get your wires mixed up. All you really have to do is look up inside the box. It's too hard to get a camera in there to show you, but you're gonna see a wire like this. This is a 12-3, could be a 14-3, probably will be a 14-3, but you'll see within the sheath, we have a black, red, and a white wire with a ground, all right? That's gonna be your travelers, okay? This one, is a 14-2, it's a 14-2 with ground, and you're only gonna have a black and a white wire. There's no red wire. This style of wire here is usually always gonna be either your feed or your load on the other end. All right, so now we, got it. we know that these are our travelers going to our four-way, and they come out over here. And really, honestly, it doesn't matter which set of travelers you put on the black screws and which ones go on the bronze screws, but I do like to put the input from the feed on my black screws, just my own thing. It, honestly, it really doesn't matter, but let's prove which set of wires we got here. All right, so obviously you're gonna wanna do this with the power turned off. I've taken my set of travelers from the first uh, three-way right there, and I've made a little shorting apparatus right there so that we can know which ones come into our four-way box right there as our input. So I've shorted those out, and it's that set right there. So we'll separate those on the left, 
and those on the right. That way I know which one is which. So these are our two travelers right here. I'm just gonna tighten those up on the brass screws. All right, got that first one hooked up. Now I've taken the set of travelers that we just isolated and I've already put them on the black screws. There's a black one and a red one on the other black screw right there. So what you wanna do, make sure you don't get your travelers mixed up. Like you don't wanna take a black from this one and a red from the other one. Look up inside and look at the sheath right here so that you know that these go in the same sheath and these go in the same sheath. Otherwise it's not gonna work. So our other set of travelers go on the brass screws and that's going to our third switch. And that's it. There's no other mystery to a four way. Set one and set two, that's it. Now I've already changed out this bad three way and we need to know which wire goes on the black screw. Well, the easiest way to tell is again, your travelers are coming from your four way and your 14.2 is going to your load. So the one that's going to the load, when you look up inside of here, is gonna be the one that goes to the black screw. I've already isolated that as this one right here. It's a lot faster when you take these things apart to just label the wires with a piece of tape, then you don't have to go through all this. All right, so we got our common figured out and just we need to hook up the two travelers and we're done. And it doesn't make any difference if you put red on the left or black on the right. It makes no difference at all. All right, got everything hooked up. Got the power turned back on. Looks like everything's working just like it's supposed to be. That's perfect. All right, so I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.